Hey everyone, this is Johnny with JCS Performance. Uh, wanted to talk to you real quick about some cylinders. We just received an, another set of cylinders from Randy over at High Performance. And uh, this is for a 124 motor build we're gonna do. So we've been posting some cylinders, uh, the Leila 131 and the new 143 we're going to build that we also use some high performance cylinders. So we had some questions on why we're using those cylinders versus any other aluminum cylinders. Well, the reason is that these cylinders are machined out of a round billet ductile, uh, I guess rod, and then it's machined. So it has more tensile strength. That's one of the reasons. Two is this, <clears throat> this motors, uh, we're putting a lot of pressure on them compared to your kind of your street performance motors. So on these, we can have a thicker, cylinder spigot compared to the aluminum ones and uh, that holds up more under more pressure and it also helps with the sealing of the rings and stuff so um wanted to actually talk about the difference in between the cylinders and these cylinders here these are three different cylinders three different manufacturers um, very well-known brands that we've all known and grown, grown up with using these sets of cylinders. So I want to show you guys the detail and the difference why we use these for a motor that we're going to put a lot of pressure on. Now, steel cylinders aren't for everybody. This is not for your everyday average uh, guy that does parades or cruises downtown and the motor gets hot and stuff like that. These take a little extra clearance, they take a little bit longer to warm up. Uh, and so it's not really, you know, for the everyday riding motorcycle. Now, yes, you can ride it up and down the street, you can cruise with it as well, but you need to be concerned with heat compared to these cylinders. So let me show you guys the difference. Okay, first we're going to talk about these, uh, these cylinders here. So these cylinders, you have the steel sleeve. Uh, they've been machined with uh, the grooves on there and then they get kind of like poured, foundered in the, in the mold. So you can clearly see where you get a little bit of air pockets and uh, kind of distortion between the steel and the aluminum. You can also see the difference is that the sleeve is not in the center of the cylinder or the casting. See how this one has less on this one, has more. So, but the most important is that you don't have a good seal in between the steel sleeve and the aluminum casting. So, this is also another brand. And you can see that if you look carefully right in here, you can't really, you can see where there's kind of like little grooves back and forth and stuff so that also has a little bit of air pockets and stuff and this cylinder as well is off-centered to one side and the other now it being off-centered that makes a difference when your rod is going up and down and stuff and trying to keep the piston in the center of the cylinder and the piston in the center of the rod so this is going to create a little bit more of a drag and a little bit of wear more on the cylinder and um, also create more heat now this is another brand this is a little bit better if you can see that it's basically unified on both sides and this one has a little bit better bonding in between the steel sleeve and this and the aluminum cylinder casting now this company here has a sleeve and this one is also uh, poured in the mold and stuff but this one's under pressure so this one basically takes as much and, and almost all of the air out and it has a better bonding in between the steel sleeve and the aluminum casting. So the problem with the gap is that eventually oil is going to transmit up in between the cylinder and the casting uh, remaining inside this little crack. And what's bad is that it's going to serve as an insulation, not releasing the heat from the steel sleeve through the casting and out to the fins where it can start cooling down. So the oil will remain in here, keeping the heat trapped into your cylinder, which later on may cause heat in between the piston and the cylinder wall, which is not good as well. 
So this is a, a brand that we normally recommend and stuff, but that's the reason why we kind of been using Randy's high performance cylinders because on those motors, we're gonna put a lot more pressure on them. So these here, you can see where everything's a lot, just a lot more detail, better, thicker. Um, the holes are smaller in there because it, it basically, basically goes straight into where the, the spigot on the case is. So since everything's centered, you don't have to worry about having larger holes like on these have larger holes so the cylinder can fit into the center of the spigot of the case. This one's centered with the center of the bore. Here I want to show you what I was talking about how the one of the key features about running steel cylinders like this one is that it's real nice and snug <clears throat> and then you run studs and bolt it down directly to your engine case compared to the long studs that are in a regular twin cam or evolution and stuff. So the cylinder gets bolted down to the case and then the head gets bolted down to the top of the cylinder and that keeps it one centered to the bore and two keeps it from moving or walking around compared to the other cylinders or the other cases with the long studs. It has more of an opportunity to move back and forth and it's not really a nice tight and square uh, fastening system. Okay, so here is a engine case with the long cylinder studs. Basically, this is the way it comes from factory. And I wanted to show you once the cylinder's in there, how much it moves compared to the other ones. It goes a little bit more rigid straight down and it bolts this down with the stud. So using this system here, it's still good and everything, but when you start running a real high performance motor, and you're gonna start putting a lot of pressure on there. I think the other system uh, is a little bit stronger, a little bit safer. But uh, this system still works for a good performance motor that's gonna be a street performance or a touring performance motor. Uh, this system would work as well. There you go, that's the difference why we wanted to show you this video and let you know the difference in between the high performance cylinder and some of the casted aluminum cylinders.